A square coil of wire of side 2 centimeters is placed in a uniform magnetic field of magnitude 1.5 tesla directed into the page as shown in the figure below. The coil has 32 turns and a resistance of 0.78 ohms. If the coil is rotated through an angle of 90 degrees about the horizontal axis, shown in 0.335 seconds, find the following. A. The magnitude of the average EMF induced in the coil during this rotation and the average current induced in the coil during this rotation. So the first thing it wants to know is the average EMF. And again, we have that the EMF is equal to the change in magnetic flux over time. We can break down magnetic flux to be the magnetic field times the area times the sine of theta over time. And so we've got to look back at our picture now. It's saying that as it rotates from this angle to being basically parallel to this angle. And so the area of our loop isn't changing, but the flux going through it is changing. It changes, as a matter of fact, as B times the sine of, of 90 minus B times the sine of 0. That's the change in the flux. And so that's the change of magnetic field, which gives us the change of the flux. And the area is equal to the, it, since it's a square, it's the length of one side squared. And now all you got to do is a little substitution, so the EMF is equal to the uh, magnetic field times the sine of 90 minus the magnetic field times the sine of sine of 0. Multiply all of that out and uh, multiply that by the length squared over the time. Make sure everything is in SI units and it wants the answer in millivolts so whenever you find the answer you multiply it by 10 to the third, and you get millivolts. And I got an answer of 57.3134 uh, millivolts. And the second part of the question wants us to find the, the current running through it. And so I is equal to uh, V over R, and where our voltage is the EMF that we produced. So EMF over R. And since it wants it in millivolts, you just take the answer, or it wants it in milliamps, so the answer that you found for part A is already in millivolts. Just divide that by the resistance, and it will stay in, the answer will be in milliamps. You don't have to do any more conversions. So I got 73.478 milliamps. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the About section of this video. And on the blog, you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.